Once Odima begs, as court moves to dismiss him out of office like Humae, over fraudulent move into office. Beg Okorocha. What is the need of begging Okorocha? Why are you begging Okorocha? <laughs> you can now see that these our politicians they don't come into power without any hidden agenda. Something must something must have warranted them to go in for that ticket, to subscribe for that ticket, to make that move that yes, they want to become a governor or a president. That's why I will just laugh. When they present uh, their uh, whatever, what, uh, once their, their stupid uh, uh, manifestos, you know, standing in bef uh, before the crowd and then, you know, making, their, making unfulfilled promises, promises that they will never keep, you know, presenting it before the public. I will do this, I will do that, I will do that, I will do this. I laugh. I laugh. What's, why is he begging? He's afraid. Now, we now say that the Nigerian law are now doing what is expected of them. <laughs> I was so shocked at the one, I, I, at the one of, uh, of Umai. But then the question is this. What is the connection between Okorocha and Uzodema's uh, uh, dismissal? Does Okorocha really have a hand in his dismissal? Just like... Uh, 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 what's his name? Omai is accusing Wiki for having a hand in his own dismissal. <laughs> okay, let's quickly see the content. Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State has begged his predecessor, Rochas Okorocha, for forgiveness. This has come up after a notice was presented to him to be prepared for a dismissal from office. Uzodima, getting this notice, have shown a serious remorse over his weaknesses, his shortcomings, and his offenses. Uzodima, who has read this very information, appeared before his predecessor, pleading and asking him for an advice and a support. Imo belongs to us, not me, but you and other governors that have ruled this state before me. I plead that you come to my aid, stand by me and give me the support that I need to face this government. I refuse to be like Umai. My case is different and I must be successful. Uzodima, who have said this, has written to the court saying that he is ready to fight with the last drop of his blood to maintain this very seat and to prove to the court that he is the only and truly elected governor of this very seat. I know that a lot of loopholes may have come in before I came into office. But that is the fact. Law surfaces for the righteous. I got this seat with the right law. And that same law is what will make me victorious again. He claimed. You are saying jargons. You are a deceiver. You are a liar. Now you, now you know that Okorocha is your brother. Now you know that Okorocha is your brother. Everybody in the whole southeast, the whole governor's in the whole South, we sit and and, and 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 want to arrive at a particular decision. Only you, Uzodima, will opt yourself out. You will segregate yourself out. Your opinion will be completely different from the other ones. You will say to yourself that you have no hand with the opinion of your fellow governors. Because why? Because you saw that you are working with the pre with, with the president of this country who is planning to use you to achieve his Islamization agenda. You are leaving. You are leaving. You are leaving that very seat for the other person because why? Because that is not your own seat. 
I will be I will celebrate the day I will see that you have been dismissed like Umayi. I oh, I wish you were the first to be dismissed. Seriously, I, I am not joking. That is the reality. Because you are you are overdone. You are overdone. If not for the strength of IPOP, Southeast as a whole would have been landed into the hands of these Islamize, Islamizers. Because that was the number one objective of President Mubari. So why now trying to twist Okrocha or beg him? Why? You are a liar. You are a cheat and a deceiver. I don't, I don't concur with your, with, with your begging. I don't. I only pity Okorocha if he dares, he should listen to you, he should forgive you, but the issue of please stand by me and let's fight it together should not come in. You should be able to face the fight on your own. And I want to believe that the same way you have gone to Okorocha, that is how you still go to other governors. And so let me see if they will listen to you. Of course, let me see if they will listen to you. Because you have proved to them that you are, a, you are a difficult person. You have shown to them that, yes, that you are not with them. That you are with the president of this country. Abi, these people will sit together and say, okay, let's discuss like brothers. Brothers from the southeast. Let's arrive at a conclusion and see how to move southeast forward. You alone, Uzodima, will opt yourself out and say no. That you know that, that anything that we have to do, to anything that will go against and the will and wish of President Mubari, that you will never that you never have a hand in it. Okay, the next thing they would see is you have rushed to Abuja to leak the secret to President Mubari. Now look at Umayi. This is the same Umayi. I will not forget a very statement. He said that he said that I defected to APC. Because of the father I saw in Buhari. <laughs> so now, because of the father you saw in Buhari is what now made President Mubari to kick you out of office. Where is the President Mubari when the court gave a verdict that you should leave office? Where is he? Where is that president? When it was announced publicly that with effect... With effect from now, Umay should leave office. Where is he? You cannot see. You cannot see stupidity. <laughs> this cause for jubilation. All of you, all of you, all the evil people in the Southeast, evil governors, they will leave office. You will never complete your tenure. In fact, Umay's own was a celebration. I, I came in contact with an Ebonian citizen. She said that, in fact, that the moment she got the news, she celebrated. She, 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 said, she said she and her family quickly stormed a, a chicken republic and they ate very well. Why? They said, Umayi is a devil. She even admitted it, that her own brother happens to be one of those following Umayi's convoy. Immediately, she said she called the brother and told him, take heart. But... Then you people deserve it. Hapa, my dear listeners, that is a serious blow on the cheek. The same thing, the same thing I, I believe will happen to Uzodima. Do you understand? The same thing will happen. So let him not celebrate yet. Look, that is what I don't like bragging. Uzodima brags a lot. He brags a lot. That is why when they were. were trying to talk to him, correct him when he tried, uh, when, when, when he went on to take land which belonged to the Imolites and gave it to, to the Fulani headsmen for a cattle market. They, they tried to call him to order. He was proving correct. He was proving to be right. Don't worry. Your time is coming too. Your time is coming. Your replacement is already near. You too will leave office. <laughs> okay. My dear listeners, you've had it. You've had it. Let me hear from you at least to know what your opinion on this very broadcast may be. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated 
each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.